Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today, I'm going to do part 15 to my Let's Play of Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch. We're in the last video, guys, we continue doing the Detainee Pikachu, or the, the, the thing where we had to see if we can prove Pikachu's innocence because he got arrested for property damage. That didn't happen during the last video, that happened like three or four episodes ago during the yesterday session. So, we're still trying to prove his innocence and figure out what's going on. So, we're going to see what's going to happen now. So, there are two things we need to do. First, find Brad. Second, look into what those cube shape devices actually do. Is Brad that man we saw in the plaza? You know him, right? I hope you don't end up squaring off against each other because of this case. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary. We don't know for sure yet that they'll even that'll even happen. Let's just concentrate on uncovering the truth. Oh, and one more thing. If we see Mighty Anna, we need to check and see how it's doing. Mighty Anna? Yeah, Pikachu asked me to check on it. Apparently, it's friends with a Luxray in the station. Wow, you talked about all that? It just sounded like Pika Pika to me. Yeah, that's normal. I'm pretty sure I'm the weird one here. Not weird, Tim. Exceptional. Heh, <laughs> thanks, Rachel. I'm glad I opened up to you. Um, detectives? Oh, sorry, I guess we shouldn't keep talking here. No, that's fine. Were you talking about Brad just now? Yeah, there's something we'd like to ask him about. Well, if you're looking for Brad, he just headed out to 2nd Avenue on new orders. Really? Thanks for letting us know. Okay, we're headed to 2nd Avenue, right? Let's go hear what Brad has to say. Back to visit your Pikachu again, are you? You sure are passionate about this case. Excuse me. Actually, that's not why I'm here. Can I ask you a question or two? About the situation in the city. Did anything strange happen in the city today? I don't know if I necessarily call it strange, but there have been several Pokemon related incidents. At this rate, they're going to fill up every detainment room we've got. That must be pretty stressful for the Pokemon. If they're stressed, they can work it out during their daily exercise time. But you cannot allow multiple visitations in a row. It'd be nice if you could understand my nature, too. Yeah, I just hope this one doesn't hate detectives. Oh, uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't that mean that Brad's my nature would hate him? So ain't that telling what he is? Or I guess, I, guess he, I guess he'd be more of a police officer, right? I don't I guess. I don't know, guys. I'm a dumb freak, so who am I kidding? All right, Pig Knight. When we get to the campsite, you're in charge of getting a fire going. Pig Knight, you sure look happy. Looking forward to the camping t trip, little guy. We really weren't going this way. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be paying any attention to us. This pawn really does mar march to its own tune, doesn't it? Mimi? Mmm, for some reason, just breathing in that aroma helps me feel calmer. Yeah, that's why they even make perfume with a little good scent. It's too expensive for me, though. Excuse me. Thanks for your help earlier. Do you mind if I ask you more questions? About my Inteleon? No, this is about something else. After we talked. Did anything strange happen today after we talked? And Tillian hasn't come back yet, has he? No, he hasn't. I think he's still at the police station. The shop sure is lonely without Tillian. It's hard to tell for sure, but I think even the flowers are drooping a bit. And Tillian always took such good care of him. 
I, re I really hope he can come home soon. Excuse me. Thanks for your help, bro. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about my more Pico? I've already told you everything I know. No, this is about something else. About what we talked. Did they make sure I never did we talk? Hmm. Not really. I was so shocked that they took more Pico from me that I couldn't find the motivation to do anything else with my day. If you tried going to the police station, you might be able to visit more Pico there. Oh, that thought never even occurred to me. I'll try visiting tomorrow. I like to explore everything and talk to everybody. If I see how an exclamation point above their head, I want to talk to someone. Oh, they're back in the chorus. <laughs> I keep putting it away in the cupboard, but then next to my thing, I know it's right back out on the table. Maybe I should start adding to you to the menu. <laughs> Whenever I come to eat here after work, oh my. It, Exhaustion from the day just melts away. This place feels like a second home to me. I keep coming back to this cafe every day to get more of their coffee. That rich flavor is simply the best. Yeah. Luko looks like she's asking a question. What do you suppose it is? I wonder if she's asking where Pikachu is. I love how you get your holly toad like the actual like, like what can they do it again, Han? That's so cool. Oh wait, there's something around here. Hey. hey Tim! Welcome! Perfect timing actually. I've got a favor to ask. How can I help? I can't get the lid off this jar. Could you please open it for me? Sure, if that's all you need. What? H huh? The lid won't budge. No good, eh? It was worth a shot. I ordered some gourmet preserves to use in my cooking, but I guess you could say I'm in a jam. A strong Pokemon might be able to help open it. Yeah, I think you're onto something there. Can you think of any Pokemon in the area strong enough to open that especially stubborn jar lid? Not off the top of my head, but I can keep an eye out for one. Thanks, Tim. Go ahead and tuck the jar with you. Paul was having to do with opening a jar. If I'm strong for one, I can open it for him. I ain't never seen an antique form seen a steel before. Always exciting to me a rare Pokemon, isn't it? I like the little music that was going on in there. So it's like when you go up to Polly Toad, he's like, you hear Polly, Polly, like it's so cute. Polly's not a favorite Pokemon in the world, obviously. I have a lot of other favorite Pokemon. It's way better, but. Can't wait. Oh. Hello there. Do you need something? Excuse me. I was hoping to ask you some questions. You'll have to speak up, young man. My ears aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Indeedy. Sincere empath. Oh, an Indeedy. These Pokemon can read the emotions of those around them. And they're not really kind, too. Indeed, you always try to help out when someone's in trouble. You said you wish you could understand the hearts and minds of Pokemon, too. Right? Yeah, I hope someday I can be more like Indeed. I'm <laughs> still blind. I know it's just a statue, but it kind of makes me feel sorry for the Slowpoke. You look cheerful. Hey, 
thanks for your help earlier, Ferret. I'll be sure to keep my ring nice and secure on my finger from now on. I don't know if we can go to Second Avenue. A strong floor can open a jar. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Thanks for your help, bro. Your mouth asking some more questions. Are you here to ask about my indemn? And dimp a dimp again? No, this time it's about something else. After we taught. Did anything strange happen after we taught? No, that was it. And, imp and dimp a dimp has still hasn't come back. I wonder what the poor little guy's doing in the police station right now. Yeah, me too. He could be lonely in there. I'm more worried about he's getting up to his usual pranks and causing trouble for the police. He's always got so much excess energy to burn. I can only hope he behaves himself and gets what soon. What else soon? Ha! Uh, I don't know what to do! Excuse me, everything okay? Well, I live in a back street just off of Fountain Plaza, you see. I always walk through the plaza on my way home. But now, whenever I'm walking through the plaza, I keep hearing this strange voice. A strange voice? Yes, but when I turn around to see who's making it, there's never a soul in sight. Do you think it's a ghost? Of course not. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. I hope so. When I know what that voice is, the plaza is just too creepy for me to go anywhere near. The case of the Rom City Ghost. Doesn't it make you curious, Tim? It sure does. Let's investigate. Thanks for your help. I don't want us to feel safe enough to walk through the plaza again. I just got to be hard to find why things on your face. I called the police, so I'm sure I'll do something about it soon. I hope the police can take care of this quickly. You shouldn't go this way, it's dangerous. <laughs> Did something happen? There's an angry Pokemon back there. We should probably have leave it alone for a while. What do you think, Tim? It sounds like a police officer came this way. I think Brad may have gone this way, and so should we. Let's keep an eye out for the angry Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, what? I have more questions for you, Nesta. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. <laughs> sure, can't wait. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, there's Mighty Anna! Now then, we're going to have to detain this Pokemon properly. It's Brad! And it sounds like he's just about to detain a Pokemon! <laughs> Mighty Anna, back alley outlaw. Oh, it's Mighty Anna! Wait, Tim, is it that? Yeah, it's po poke. It's the Pokemon Pikachu asked me to check up on. Luxray's friend. Well, well. If it isn't a great detective, you're welcome to reserve, but don't get in our way. This mighty end is preventing the residents from passing through. Not only that, this same mighty end was a pre previously involved in Abra altercation with a Luxray. This Pokemon poses a clear threat to the public. I'm afraid we'll have to detain it until we can calm it down. Wait, Brad! And you are? Wait, you're the mayor's daughter, aren't you? Yes, I'm Howard's daughter, Rachel. Just look at this mighty Anna, Brad. The poor thing's injured. Please, at least treat its wound before you take it in. Don't you feel sorry for Mighty Anna? I'll make sure it receives treatment after I've taken it to the station. Will that satisfy you? No, it won't. We're treating Mighty Anna ourselves then. Who? You two? 
My, my. Who knew you were so talented? Tim, let's get help from a Pokemon. Are we even sure there's a Pokemon that can help? We'll go find one right now. I'm sure there's one in the silly some city somewhere. Maybe we can find a Chansey, or an Audino, or an Indeedy or something. Okay, let's have a look around the city. No. Keep your distance. It's dangerous. Well, we know we gotta go get then. Gotta find the Audino. I mean, not Audino, the uh, Indeedy. Frickly fast, that a pumpkin boo? All right. You are right there. Wait. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Are you in Dee Dee's partner? Yes, but what in the world is this all about? A Pokemon's injured. Please, we need Indeedee's help. Ah, uh, is that so? Very well. We should always help one another in times of need. Go with them, Indeedee. You can help them out. Thank you so much. This way, Indeedee. It appears that Muddy and it has recovered nicely. Not fully, but it's at least stable for now. Now, I trust it's enough to put your mind at ease, Rachel. I appreciate you waiting for us to get it to treat him. There's something I'd like to talk to you about, Brad, before you take Muddy in her away. And what's that, great detective? There's something off about all these Pokemon detectives detainments the police have been doing. Every single incident was caught by the surveillance cameras. That's too convenient to be natural. Surely you've noticed, Brad. Innocent Pokemon are being framed. That's what happened to my Pikachu, and he can't be the only one. So, you're suspicious of the surveillance cameras. But the footage on those cameras is incriminating evidence. Unless, great detective, you found evidence that Pokemon are being framed. Uh, no. Not yet. In that case, I have no choice but to take this mighty inner into custody. It's my duty. Take it away! Yes, sir! Detain the mighty inner now, sir! Hey, mighty is okay. It'll be with Pikachu and the others at the station. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is all just so frustrating. We couldn't even stop Brad. If we if we just had some proof, we had to find some. We need to find some. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad that my ear finally calmed down. Now we can finally get through here safely. Oh. Hey, Tim. I bet we could talk to those people right now. You're right, let's see what they have to say. Thank you for calming that mighty in it just now. You really did us a favor. Yes. Oh, we actually didn't do much. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Oh, what do you need? About the cube-shaped device. Do you know anything about the cube-shaped devices that are used when Pokemon are detained? You mean those things they stick to their backs? The way they glow, they're pretty hard to miss. Glowing backs, huh? Kinda reminds me of Wallaby or Ilumise. Oh, and the Pokemon seem to really dislike those devices. How could you tell? I saw a Pokemon struggling and flailing its limbs. About Brad. Excuse me. Do you know anything about Brad McMaster? He's the police lieutenant who was just here. Hmm, not really, but the certainty was easy on the eyes. 
Yeah. He gives Prime City's finest a whole new meaning. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think we're going to learn anything useful about Brad from these two. Oh. What should we do now, Tim? I doubt we'll be able to speak with Brad directly anymore today. Let's talk to some other people. Lucky for us, there still seem to be a bunch of people out and about. I hope we can learn more about Brad and those cube shaped devices. What do I do? Excuse me. Do you need help with something? Braid so. See how I'm building back there? One of my kids accidentally threw a ball up under the roof. But I can't get up there to retrieve it, so I'm not sure what to do. No kidding. I can't even see that high up from here. Scaling the well is pretty much out of the question. Yep, and the icing on the cake. I foolishly promised my kids I'd have their ball back to them by tomorrow. There's got to be some way to get to it. Any ideas? Actually, I think this calls for some Pokemon help. Then let's go look for a Pokemon that's good at climbing buildings. We'll see what we can do. Please wait here for a bit. Really? Thank you so much! The man's kids got their ball stuck on the roof. Is there a Pokemon somewhere that's good at climbing up buildings? What do you mean? About Brad. Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rum City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit. Oh, he just came to see me earlier. He asked me to tell him about Impidimp. So I told him. Well, everything. How much Impidimp loves playing pranks? His fondness for shiny things, stuff like that. The lieutenant was a really good listener. He took it all very seriously. But I never figured out exactly why he was asking me all that. I see. Thanks again for your help. So Brad was asking how about an impotent who'd already been detained. Just what is Brad up to? Hey, it's a pumpkin room. The main friend didn't miss anyone. Machamp. Machamp! Unparalleled strength. Yes. You sure look strong. Have you come to check out my awesome Machamp? I'm so proud of him. Uh, not exactly. Maybe he can help out with our problem. See, we've been looking for a Pokemon that can open up this jar of jam. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that'll be a piece of cake. I mean, it's jam, but you get the idea. Give it a twist, Machamp. Wow, great job! The opening jar like it was nothing. A little thing like that isn't even a warm up for my super powered partner. Thanks a lot. We gotta get this back to Pablo. Good to see you back, Tim. How'd it go? Great. Here, take a look. Oh, what Pokemon did you ask for help? And Machamp popped the lid right off for us. And Machamp? Sounds like that stubborn jar lid never stood a chance. Anyway, I'd better whip you up a little thank you gift for these preserves. Thanks very much, but we're gonna wait till another time. Are you sure? Yeah, we're in the middle of an investigation, and if Pikachu didn't get to try some too, I'd never hear the end of it. True that. Well, then I hold off on making something until all three of you can stop by together. Thanks, Pablo. 
I still gotta help you retrieve the ball and find the truth of the mysterious voice. Hey. Hey, Tim. Hey, Peach is not out yet? No, he's not. Sorry to hear that. He's one of my favorite regulars, so this place gets kind of lonely when he's not around. Hold on. I gotta hear this again. I don't know why I like this. I'm gonna do. Polly, Polly. So, still need to find the source of that sound and help the dude get his ball off the roof. How'd that be you, but maybe? Wait. I see the ape on my frame city here is energetic as ever. Say, these four are good at climbing trees, aren't they? You think one of them could retrieve that guy's ball? Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, Apom, I was wondering if you could help us. Do you think you could get a ball down from up on a rooftop? Please, Apom, you're the only one who can help. Alright. Oh, look, there it goes. I think we managed to get our feelings across. I hope it manages to get that ball down. Let's go see. Oh, you're the two from earlier. Guess what? After you left, an ape appeared and got the ball for me. Mm -hmm. So it helped you out after all. Glad to hear it. Oh, I figured you sent it over. It was such a huge help. My kids will be so happy now. Though I'd better give them a steam start talking to them about taking care of their things. Ah, uh, don't go too hard on them. Don't go too hard on them. Kids will be kids. It's like Apom wants to play with the ball, too. Oh, do you want to play with my kids? They'd be so happy to have an Apom for a friend. Well, it's like you're happy to make new friends, too, Apom. Hey, Apom, you look, you look cheerful. Yeah, maybe. The team and I voluntarily patrolled the area. After all, there have been so many incidents lately. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. We're actually investigating these incidents ourselves. That's great. Let's all do our best to keep our com community safe. If danger rears its head, you can trust the Ralph State Police to protect the safety. Mm -hmm. Come here, that's for something. Oh! Here we go. About the situation in the city. Did anything unusual happen in the city today? Um, well, there were a number of incidents. Would you like me to tell you about each one? Listening to my could take a while. No, I don't need that much detail. I'm just looking for more general information. Sorry to trouble you. It sounds like your department's really busy. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Anything to protect the peace of our fine city. About Brad. Excuse me? Do you happen to know Lieutenant McMaster? Yes, of course. The Lieutenant's really been throwing himself into his work lately. The one weird thing I've noticed, though, is that recently he's been going out and working on his own. And at the scenes of crimes that have already been solved at that. Oh, dear. Why would he be doing that? Hmm, I really couldn't tell ya. About the cube shaped devices. Alright. Um, hold on. Here we go. Oop, we're on one. I'm only going to turn the fan off for a little bit because it's actually getting a little bit cold in here now. Okay. Is it true that you use cube shaped devices when you're detaining Pokemon? Ah. You must mean the management tags. 
What makes a management tag different from any other tag? I'm really not sure. I think they really high tech or something. I mean, they're main machines after all. They probably got little computers inside or something. Do you know anything specific about their function? Well, I'm ashamed to say, but not really. I think the higher ups in the PBB know how they work, though. Excuse me. Good evening. May I ask some questions? Hmm? Is something the matter? About the situation in the city. Did anything as you happen to say today? What do you mean by unusual? I mean, we respond to incidents every day. And with so many Pokemon related incidents lately, it feels like things are anything but usual. Sounds like a lot to deal with. It may be a lot, but it's my job. All I can do is keep doing my best. About Brad. Excuse me. Do you know how to know Lieutenant M Master? Of course. We work together on a regular basis. He excels at performing his duty. His investigations are so thorough and efficient that Pokemon are detained almost as fast as the case itself is opened. In fact, Lieutenant McMaster has the highest crime clearance rate in the entire department. Take gum. Wow, Andrews and Brad was so highly regarded. About the cube-shaped devices. Is it true that you use cube-shaped devices when you're detaining Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Those things. We got orders from the PPB to attach them to Pokemon. How do the devices function? Who knows? They never really gave us any details. Okay. And it's where to find a team in a place like this. Let's not bother it. I should have the police hours you that did in there. Alright, I don't remember if I did or not. I was talking to him a while ago. I said, yep, I did already. Here we go. How can I help you, detective? Uh, about Brad. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting us know about Lieutenant McMaster. No trouble at all. What did you need for him? And what you what do you need him for anyway? Oh, I just remembered something about the incident Pikachu was involved in. I thought it could help with the investigation, so I wanted to tell the lieutenant in person. Understood. Thanks for reporting whatever info you can about the cube shake device. Do you know anything about those cube-shaped devices being put on Pokemon as they're being detained? Oh, those things? I hear they're management tags. I don't quite understand how they work, but they're pretty interesting. The moment a Pokemon is outfitted with a device, it goes with the police without any resistance. Really? The Pokemon do that on their own? Yes, it's more safer when they aren't violent. I don't know if I need to figure this out. I should be able to figure this out if I just stop and think over me. I should do that now. Yes. Here we go.
Brad was, despite the crime scenes, could he be involved in music? What's the reason? Made itself look like he someone. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out what those cube shaped devices really are. Alright. Could they be devices that make Pokemon go berserk? The Pokemon with the device attached to their backs apparently went berserk and destroyed things. Are those devices capable of making Pokemon go berserk? Maybe the buzzer that makes people stand out. Cute shake the buzzer and pulls back and make a glow that can catch people's attention. Are those the buzzers used to make Pokemon stand out more? No. A controlling Pokemon. Pokemon with the buzzer attached to their bats out immediately up to power whatever the police told them. Are those the buzzers capable of controlling Pokemon? That one. Okay. Those the buzzers might actually be capable of controlling Pokemon. You really think so? I do! We don't have any evidence yet, of course, but it seems that way based on what we've heard. If that's true, then Ditto was forced to obey someone else's orders! Yeah! That's terrible! If the person orchestrated these crimes was controlling Ditto, how are they able to give it orders? Based on all the witnesses' statements so far, it's not clear whether anyone was directing Ditto's actions. True, but there had to have been someone at the crime scene talking directly to Ditto, right? Yeah, I can't really think of any other method, method they could use, have used. Maybe a witness saw someone giving out orders. Yeah, we should ask around. I got a good amount of information about Brad. Now it's time to organize it and think this through. He's hiding out with the crimes. The reason Brad choked causes so many cases is because he's committed the crime himself and then solves them. He puts his crime scenes to hide evidence that would incriminate him. He was testing the for future crimes. Brad might be visiting around him alone because he's caught in the areas for future crimes. Put up Brad's high down to the crimes. So you think he stays the incidents and now he's trying to cover his tracks? If that's the case, shouldn't he have been able to hide all the end of it so far? All the way back to the incident at Fountain Plaza? Good point, if he wanted to get rid of evidence, he could have done so way earlier. Mm -hmm. I might have been going around casting the crown in preparation for something. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but it ain't gonna work. Was it causing a scene you should occur before a crime, though? Why would he be doing it after? That's a great point. <laughs> so that one I can't do. Why did someone begin to do something I can do it, though? About Brad. Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit. Ah, yes. The lieutenant just left, in fact. Really? You know what he was doing here? The same thing as you, actually. Investigating the flower display and telling him I was accused of vandalizing. I couldn't make out what, but he was muttering this himself the whole time. Just like at Fountain Plaza, Bradshaw spends a lot of time returning to the scene of the crime. But why is he investigating these crime scenes after the Pope when I've already been detained? It really makes me wonder. What is it? Well, Brad, do you know a man named Brad McMaster who worked for the Rhyme City Police? He's talking to me wears a blue suit. Yeah, I just met him. He came to ask me some questions. Oh, really? About what? The lieutenant asked me for added details on Morpico's ability. Okay. 
So I explained how Morpeko's appearance and the typing of his aura will move changes depending on whether he's hungry or full. Maybe Brad came to the state the same conclusion we did, Tim. It doesn't make sense for Morpeko's aura wheel to have been electric type if he was hungry when he used it. If that's true, then what exactly is Brad trying to do? Mm -hmm. I got information I need. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Now I want you to answer. I kind of, I don't know what. I, was, I quoted a good amount of information about Brad. He's conducting his own investigation. We've seen Brad several crowns and he might be investigating the entrance on his own. Okay. If Brad were the one giving orders to Ditto, that'd be no reason for him to go around asking questions to detain the Pokemon. So you think Brad's just investigating the internet? Like we are? Yeah, I do. Okay. Now we know Brad isn't the culprit, and we got that tip about Ditto too. We should tell Pikachu as soon as we can. At night? Would they even let us see him? The officer at the reception desk said that we could visit up to twice a day. As long as the station's open, I think it'll be fine. Alright, let's go in here. Didn't they say it can only be in the afternoons, though? That's the thing. Didn't they say afternoon only? What? Would you like to visit Pikachu now? Okay, yes, you can. Then follow me. Oh, here we go. We're going back in here. Detainment Day 2. Pikachu. <sighs> I'm in. The detainment room. Great. Back again with missing memories. A mystery for another time. Right now my goal is the chief's office on the second floor. There was a duct in his office, but it doesn't seem to be connected to the one down here in detainment. I'll have to go up to the first floor and search for a duct that connects to the chief's office. I guess I'll go see who else right first though. I can look for a duct leading to the chief's office after that. So, I hear you love jewels. Are you familiar with the Aurora Drop? Say, no, I don't know what that say, is. I've never even heard of it. Really? You sure? Say, you say, calling say, me a liar? Say, don't mess with me. No, no, I believe you. It's someone grab me a tissue. All right. You're kept me waiting. How's the investigation going? It's going and relax. This is one great detective you can count on. Great detective? I swear I've heard that somewhere. Say, are you heading out to explore the station again? Yeah, we found a room that looks important, so I'm gonna rustle up some clothes. Clues. Well, considering you passed my treasure hunt test with flying colors, I bet you'll come back with something amazing to share with us. Hmm. Let's see. Which room should I go to? Walk's race room? All right, Pangoro. Go slow, okay? <laughs> Aim for a speed record, got it. <laughs> I did it! Ow. Hmm. Let's see, which one can I go to? Yeah. You're 
you're going out investigating again, are you not? If if I could only fit through those ducks, I'm certain I'd be able to help you too. Thanks. So thought that counts. <laughs> what is it? Do you need any help again? Thanks for the offer, but you wouldn't be able to get through the ducks. My plan is to take them up to the first floor and aim for the chief's office. Yeah, I suppose I'll just have to leave that to you. Yep, you can count on me. Oh yeah, while well, I talked to Tim earlier, I passed on your message about Mariana. Uh, thank you. Hey, no sweat. Now let's hang tight until our next visit and I'll fill you in on his report. When are we gonna get out of here? That depends on what info I can find. I'm heading out right after this. I'm dying. I see my partner, so you better pull through. <sighs> oh, that's open now. I want to see what everybody else has to say before I go up to the Come first. Come on, Lightbird. You got this? Yeah. I'll try. I do hope we're successful. Eh? This cube-shaped thingy on my back is such a menace! Nuisance! Doesn't it bug you too, Pikachu? Yeah, I've mostly gotten used to it. But yeah, I agree that it's not in ideal. Not at all! Oh, it's driving me crazy! Hey, calm down, Watchdog. I'm gonna go do some investigating to get us out of here. When the heck are we gonna get out of here? Can't make any promises yet, but I did spot a place that looks worth investigating. I'm gonna scope out the chief's office and report back, so hang tight, okay? Oh, that's when you're in doors, the fallen berry pickings are slim. The sooner I get out of it, the sooner I can eat lots of my berries. I feel that. I've been missing Pablo's coffee myself. Let's do Inteleon's room. Watch Hog, I'm counting on you. What? Watch Hog. Leave it to me, my sure. Let's talk to them and then we'll go to the first floor. I'm running on fumes! What's wrong, Morpeko? Didn't the police feed you? Not enough! I'm so hungry, I got no energy at all! Maybe it's cause you're shut in here. I gotta find a way to get a towel out. I kind of feel bad for Inteleon. The poor thing didn't look too humanoid. I'd actually like him. Like, human Earth. Inteleon's not bad. I actually do like him, but... It is... Is it daytime or night? I can't say I'm found fond of being cut off from searching the world outside. Seeing the world outside. Yeah, I feel ya. The only time they let us get some fresh air is for a few hours and minutes of exercise. I'll keep investigating until I can get us out of here. ASAP. Alright, now we'll get us out of here. I will go up to the first floor. Let's go. Thanks for the help, Intellion. Intellion. Yeah, sure thing, trying to bite your <gasps> tail.
Well, now I'm on the first floor, but there are lots of police officers up ahead. They spot me, I'll get thrown right back into the detainment room. Anyway, where should I go? Oh my gosh. Looks like there's a duck way back there. Based on the floor plan, I'm guessing the duck should connect to the chief's office. Guess there's no point standing around. Muscles, don't fail me now. I headed the duck at least in the chief's office without being spotted by police officers. Whoa. That was close. So I gotta wait till he turns him. I gotta wait till he turns back. Oh my gosh, it's kind of a chance. Go, 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 go. So I gotta wait for the turn. Wait till he turns. Ah! Uh, looks like I've been spotted. Come on! There's no way of giving up just yet! One more time! How does to avoid that last dude? Watch his move and see what he's gonna do. So it looks like the best way to go around this would be to go, hurry up and go when he's turned, and then literally go behind the duck or behind that area. What? What? Oh shoot! Man, I didn't move over. Oh my gosh! Go! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. So which way am I supposed to go then? I made the dot. Okay, guess I gotta come up there. I hope it really does connect to the chief's office. Well, here goes nothing. Oh my god! <sighs> Why are they all so high up? out of there. This has got to be the chief's office. Just look at it. Looks like my little stealth mission was a success, as expected. Now let's find out what you're really up to, butler. I wonder what Tim's up to. You better not be drinking coffee without me. There we go. 
got one sturdy looking safe. I'm gonna need to get my paws off asking if I wanna see what's inside. I wonder how I can find that code. Ditto. Transforms. Sorta. Of. Hey, you're that ditto we've been hearing about, aren't you? Is this where you've been? Wow, it's a Pikachu. You know a lot about me. Oh yeah, I know all about you. Matter of fact, I got some questions for you. Why are you here? Hey. What are you even doing here, ditto? I've been here for ages, using Transform to turn to all kinds of Pokemon. Mr. Man always asked me to do it here in this room. He says, Transform into this Pokemon. But after I use Transform, my head goes all fuzzy. But I don't remember what happened after that. You've been experiencing memory loss too, eh, Ditto? I know just how you... Hey, wait a minute! Did Ditto make itself look like me and break that Slowpoke statue while his memories were missing? How about you and Butler? Was someone in this room earlier a guy called Butler? Yep, Mr. Man's here all the time. Not right now, though. You're not Butler's partner, though, are you? Partner? No, my best friend is Granny. Mr. Man is the person who brought me here. He's really nice. Butler, nice! With a mean mug like that? He gives me lots of compliments when I use Transform. Hey, Ditto, you haven't seen your granny in a while, have you? Nope, nuh uh. Will I get to see her if I keep waiting in this room? I'm afraid not, Ditto. Wait as long as you like. She won't be showing up here anytime soon. Ah, uh, really? This poor dear is just another victim. About the safe. Hey. There's a safe in this room. You know that big box? Yep, it's right over there. Do you know what's inside? I saw Mr. Man move papers in and out of that box lots of times. He sings a weird song whenever he opens or closes the box. A song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five, one, five. Five un five out two oh like that. So was it five five one five two uh, so, hmm. Yeah, just like that. You're a real good singer. Five one five oh two oh. Five one five oh two oh, maybe? God, thanks. Sounds like a six digit number. Thanks. Thanks for telling me all that stuff. By the way, dude, do you mind turning around for a sec? What is it? Do I set my me? Sorry about this. Oh. I feel like I've almost caught it. I guess I'm not strong enough to pull the device off. I thought I might be able to remove it and stop Dino from doing any more bad things. What? Did you say something? Oh, uh, no, nothing at all. You want to talk some more? About the passcode to the safe. Hey. Can you sing that song for me again? The one Butler sings when he's opening the safe? Yeah. Her five, one, five. Oh, one, so that is five, so that is six digits. Five, one, five. O two O. So five two five zero two O or zero two zero. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Five one five zero two zero. Got it. Thanks, Ditto. Here's Butler safe, and that song dude told me about must be the passcode. Time to crack it open and see what's inside. Alright guys, I'll leave it up with some suspense. 
Since the video's been uh, over an hour now, I'll go ahead and stop it, and we'll continue to see what's inside the safe next time.